Hi, I'm Theodora from Arca. In this week's episode, we're going to discuss how the rebuild Aerospike engine works. We will also inform you about the overall program status. Hi, I'm Dimitri from Arca. In this week's episode, we are going to explain how the rebuilt linear aerospike engine works. Let's start. The engine is bolted directly on the tank, a solution that saves weight while keeping the airframe robust. Between the tank and the engine, we have this unusual transition that connects the tank's round exit to the engine's square entrance. The transition includes the engine's feed system. This system is made of a flanged pipe with burst discs at both ends. The pipe is pressurized and it has an electrically actuated valve on it. When the pressure from the pipe is released, the burst discs break and the propellant is released into the transition. From there, the liquid propellant hits the catalyst bed located on the inside of the ramp. There, the hydrogen peroxide decomposition into oxygen and hot water vapors happens. From there, the gases are going in the actual engine chambers. When the gases are reaching the convergent of the nozzle, they are accelerated until they reach the speed of sound in the nozzle throat or critical section. We need to clarify that the speed of sound there is not the speed of sound in the air, but the speed of sound in the local environment. So the gases are exiting through these four nozzles, are pushing on the ramp, creating more thrust, additional to the thrust created by these four nozzles. The technical team took a short vacation last week. They were really exhausted after the effort that they've made to rebuild the Aerospy rocket engine. I'm here in Constanza together with uh, my colleagues from uh, the ARCA team that was in charge to rebuild the linear aerospike rocket engine. And this team worked a lot in the past uh, one and a half months. And uh, we decided to take a short uh, vacation. It's true, it's a 36 hours uh, vacation just uh, during the weekend, but it's better than uh, nothing. And right now, we are very close to the launch location of uh, demonstrated three rocket around 40 kilometers or 30 miles from the launch location and also very close from the naval base from where we usually get the logistical support for the activities that we are performing on the Black Sea. Uh, I'm going to answer two questions that were uh, asked uh, after we uh, presented the linear aerospike uh, rocket engine and uh, these uh, questions were uh, mostly related to the um, development of the engine. So one of the questions was uh, asking if the exhaust gases of the linear aerospike rocket engine are not going to melt the metallic structure uh, or affect the concrete of the test stand. The answer is no, uh, there is no reason for concern because the uh, propellant that we are going to use it's uh, hydrogen peroxide at a concentration of uh, pretty much 72% and the exhaust gases were, are not going to have a temperature higher than uh, uh, 450 degrees uh, Kelvin. So there is no reason for uh, concern uh, about that. Uh, even if we are, uh, when we are going to use uh, hydrogen peroxide together with uh, kerosene with a significantly higher temperature of uh, in excess of 3000 degrees Kelvin, there is no reason for concern because the test stand is going to be sprayed with uh, water and uh, the metallic structure and the concrete is going to be cooled down. Um, 
there was another question that was uh, asked regarding the relation between uh, Arca Nonprofit we have here in Europe and the Arca Space Corporation, the for-profit company we have uh, in the US. There is no uh, direct relation between uh, the two entities. One is non-profit, uh, the other is for-profit, but for now, uh, Arca NGO uh, from, uh, from Romania is uh, continuing the work with the development of the linear aerospike rocket engine uh, until the, everything will be back on track with, the, with Arca Space Corporation. So uh, we, we are doing here all the work uh, without uh, charging anything from the US company on uh, the Romanian uh, non-profit uh, expense and uh, effort. And uh, after this, we are, uh, it is of course our plan to share all the data related to the Aerospike engine with the US uh, company. So basically both entities will benefit from uh, this uh, research and from these achievements. And that's it for this week's episode. Please visit our Patreon page and support this video series. See you next time on Flight of the Aerospike.